human factors is hugely important for making sure the technologies we create actually work well for the people who have to use them. I think the ability to design something with the user in mind is really important. It's very easy to come up with a technical solution to a problem, but designing out the potential for error, the use error, and generally improving the user experience. It's about safety, human safety. It's about usability. No matter what industry you're in, uh, the, the principles that we're learning in this class are going to be applicable. And that's important for both you know, user satisfaction, but more importantly for human performance and really optimizing overall the system design. Michigan University, the Human Factor Short course, is famous. This is truly the equivalent of a super graduate course. We're really getting the true experts to talk about what is their expertise. The lineup of instructors that they put together here is really the top people in their field across the whole range of fields. For example, in the case of Mika Ansley, which developed tools herself, of course, that's a total different story when this expert's telling you and give you advice of how to perform this analyst than, than you being at home just reading the book. I think that's the most satisfying part of what we do is interacting with the users. But when you then come back with designs and you know have the user test them, then their eyes light up. They can say, they're like, wow, you mean it could be done that easily? That's exactly what I need. Students come in and really get a, a sense from other students about what the practical real world problems are and they build a network of colleagues. What shocked me was the amount of different industries here, from automotive and then the Navy, the Air Force, and all the way to medical devices. There's even someone from Harley-Davidson here. So it's the whole broad range of industries, and then how when we get together, we still see the same problems. We work very hard at connecting the basic knowledge to how it might be used in multiple domains. Learning that the same methods apply across all of these different domains and looking for ways to learn from people who are working in other areas and picking up skills and approaches that you can apply in your own work. It just kind of resets your thinking again and you're open now for new ideas and that's always good. So it's not merely talking about the field but actually seeing how the work is applied here at the university. For example, we teach people about Jack, which is a tool for designing workplaces and looking at human body size and its effect on what people can do. After my lecture, we broke up into groups and then they had the project to design an airplane seat. Each group had to figure out what dimensions were important. They had to learn how to take those dimensions. Then they had to figure out from the existing data how you go from the body size data to the actual seat dimension itself. And at each of those steps, there are decisions to be made. There are several ways to do it. And by going through that exercise, they just get a taste at least of the full process from start to finish. And that's really important. They're making decisions that are tens of thousands of dollars on a daily basis. And if they can make a better decision, because they spent two weeks in Ann Arbor and gone to a class, that's a huge financial plus. They're just better equipped to do their jobs. This course is a very valuable and very well organized course. My job's always been to try and make an interface simpler or easier, but this actually teaches me some of the science behind it. This is the opportunity to get a traditional three to six months experience in two weeks.